All right. So hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. First of all, I will invite you to join my channel with uh, subscribing me so that you can see more of this kind of videos. So from this video, we are going to discuss how to create a system that can talk to a given website with natural languages. So during one of our previous videos, we discussed how to build a similar system. But in that video, we used web crawling to access the text in a given website. So with this tutorial, we will use an alternative as well as an effective method of doing the same task without web crawling. So here, the idea is to get a URL of a website, then convert it into a PDF document, and then do Q&A on top of that. So let's jump into the notebook. All right, uh, so the first task is to install the libraries that are required in our notebook. So here we will be installing two types of libraries. So here we are installing four libraries. So these are basically useful to convert a given website into a PDF document. So here we are installing WEC print, PDF kit, WK HTML to PDF, and PyPDF libraries. And then uh, we will be installing the, these libraries. So these are the usual libraries that we are using to do the document question answering. So here we have the pillow, PDF to image, and Python magic uh, propeller utils, and the Langchain OpenAI Chroma DB libraries, as well as the unstructured tick token uh, kind of libraries. And also we are installing the OCR libraries uh, in this case. So here we have a bunch of libraries. So after installing these libraries, it's always good to restart the runtime. So if you go to runtime, uh, so from here, this option you can use to restart the runtime. So with that, these libraries uh, will be effective uh, to be used in the notebook. So uh, after installing these libraries, make sure to uh, restart the runtime from here. So next we can uh, import the libraries that we have installed in our notebook. So we will be installing all the Langchain libraries and we will also uh, import the matplotlib. So this is basically to visualize the PDF document that we are creating. So uh, we can uh, simply import the usual uh, li uh, the Langchain uh, tools that we are using to do the document question answering. And also we are importing WEC print and OS2 dealing with the open AI API keys and the directories and stuff. So uh, next you can give the uh, open AI API key as uh, we are doing. So we are setting it to the uh, environment so that we can use, in, use it in the uh, open API uh, function call. And next we are creating a Python function like this. So the task of this uh, Python function is basically to uh, construct a document from a given uh, URL. So for that, we are using WEC print uh, Python library. So this function basically takes two inputs. The first one is the URL that we want to convert it into a document. Next, we have to give the uh, output directory. So basically this is where this uh, constructed document is going to be saved. So uh, first it checks whether uh, this directory is, uh, whether it exists. So if it is not exist, it will create a new uh, directory to save the uh, converted uh, documents. And then simply what we need to do is we need to call the WEC print Python library. And there we, here we can specify the URL and then we can call the uh, write PDF uh, API call in uh, WEC print. Next, uh, with this uh, line of code, we are writing that uh, extracted website data into a PDF uh, file. 
So here we are uh, providing the name of that uh, file as a sample PDF. So as an example, I'm using the sample.pdf. So you can come up with any name uh, that you want. So basically uh, with this function, we'll get the URL and then extract the text and then convert it to a PDF and it will save it in a specified uh, document, a specified directory uh, that you are giving. So uh, if you're running this uh, code block in your Google Colab, if you open up the uh, folder structure here, you can see uh, there will be uh, creating a specified directory. So here I'm, uh, when I'm executing, I'm using, giving the directory name as PDFs. So here it create that uh, directory as well as it will save the, uh, the website that we are crawling with a given name. Next, uh, we are also uh, creating this function. So basically with this function, we are uh, displaying the converted PDF. So this is just for uh, our, uh, this is for us to uh, evaluate whether that PDF construction is correctly executed. So uh, in this function basically takes a part so from that part, uh, given the PDF file, so it will uh, open that PDF document. And then uh, what we are doing is basically we are converting, we are running through this document and then we are converting the pages of this document into uh, images. So afterwards uh, using matplotlib uh, library, we are visualizing these images uh, as a image grid. So that's basically uh, what's happening with this Python function. Next, uh, we have this uh, code block. So this uh, this is again a Python function. So this function's task is to vectorize this document and then uh, construct our chroma DB instance, and then also to create the question answering uh, model. So this code uh, we have been using in our uh, other tutorials as well. So given a directory, it will use a PDF directory loader in uh, LangChain, and then it will load all the documents in the directory. And then it will do the chunking, uh, which will uh, split the document text into various uh, smaller portions. And next uh, it will uh, construct an open AI embedding extractor uh, instance and then we can set up the chroma db so from here we are giving all these extracted document text as well as embedding extractor instance here so uh, next we can initiate the model that we are using to do q and a so here we are using again langchain retrieval q and a tool and there we have to specify the uh, language model and then chain type as stuff and then the retriever object. So this retriever is coming from the vector store that we have we are creating in uh, this line of code. So basically, this Python function uh, will take documents from a given directory, chunk them, and vectorize them, and store in a vector database, and uh, it will return the constructed Q and A model so that we can use it for question answering uh, processes. So those are the three main uh, Python functions that we are using in this notebook. Create PDFs Python function, uh, display document uh, Python function, and vectorize and uh, build model uh, Python function. All right, uh, next uh, let's move to the execute section of our notebook. So basically this is kind of a little bit of a, an application uh, that where we use all the functions that we have created uh, in our notebook. So basically here I am giving the directory name as PDFs. So this is where all the documents will be stored. And then, uh, so here I am using uh, collab uh, parameters to uh, make it a little bit of interactive so that here I can specify the link that I I need to do, I need to build the Q&A model. 
So here I'm using this uh, Wikipedia uh, URL. So here this one contain uh, information about uh, Australia. This is a little bit of a larger document. So with a bunch of references as well. So here basically I am uh, giving this uh, URL here. Uh, I'm copying the URL from this and then I'm uh, pasting it here. So then I can uh, run the create PDFs uh, Python function. So this will basically build a uh, Python doc, uh, build a PDF document from this URL and store it in our uh, disk. So that's how this uh, PDFs uh, directory will be constructed and this dot uh, PDF file will be uh, saved there. And next we can use this uh, display uh, document Python function to see what are the content in uh, our extracted uh, document. So as you can see, it has beautifully extracted all the text as well as also the images are extracted there. So the images are also important because we are using uh, OCR uh, kind of techniques to grab the text from those images as well. So uh, this only uh, display some of the pages. So, but uh, the entire document contain uh, about 72 pages. So it's a quite a large document, uh, which is extracted from this Wikipedia uh, article. So it has a lot of information. So basically then we can construct the uh, model with the vectorize and build model uh, Python uh, function call. And then it will basically emit the uh, model. So next we can do uh, use it for the uh, question answering. So here I'm asking a uh, list down key points about Australia. So as you can see here, uh, it gives a quite good answer uh, with various important facts about Australia. And here again, I am uh, asking describe indigenous peoples in uh, Australia. So they also it is uh, providing a good answer for that question as well. So basically these answers are grabbed from the document that we have constructed using uh, this uh, URL. All right, so this is the uh, alternative way of uh, building Q&A bot to a given uh, website. So basically for any kind of URL, so you can uh, give any website here and according to that website, uh, it will construct a PDF document and then uh, you can use it to build this uh, Q&A model. So uh, try out uh, this uh, Python notebook and uh, if you have any feedback or comments, suggestions, uh, please uh, leave those in the comment section of this video and uh, make sure to subscribe us to see more of this kind of video and uh, share it with uh, your colleagues. So uh, that's it from this video. Thank you for watching and see you uh, from the next video.